What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am so excited for this video because I'm going to teach you my favorite Adobe Premiere Pro workflow tip. This is my favorite workflow tip to teach people on Premiere Pro because it allows you to carry out many tasks using only one hand. It's perfect when going through long wedding footage or commercial footage and it's quick and easy to learn, which is what this channel is all about. So consider subscribing because we have tons of content coming your way. And if you like this style of video I'll be doing much much more but yeah let's get to it okay so now we're on Premiere Pro CC 2018 if we go on the source panel I have here a shot where I am revealing the rhythm and bikes logo through a bike frame okay so now imagine this is your clip imagine it's a wedding clip or a commercial so if you use your mouse or trackpad with your right hand you're going to take your left hand and you're going to get the ring finger, middle finger and index finger and you're going to put it on J, K and L respectively. Excuse my not so pretty fingernails. Okay, so but what do the keys do? The L key is your fast forward key. So what it does, if you press it once, uh, it speeds through the clip at a faster pace. If you press it again, it goes even faster, again, faster and faster and faster the more you press it. The J key does the complete opposite, so you go backwards. If you press it once, it goes backward. Press it again, it goes backwards faster and faster and faster and faster. And the K key pauses it. So if you're going forward and you're speeding through and you press K, it pauses it right there. You can reverse and you can pause and you can go forward and pause and reverse and pause and go forward and pause. So if you start at the beginning of your clip and you wanna go through it, this is how you would do it. So you start by pressing L. So now I'm going at a faster speed and I can see I'm going through it. Okay, that one's all right. So I did this many times, I'm gonna see what the other shots look like. So I know I have to go back and adjust, so I just press it twice and I quickly adjust. Da -da -da -da. I, I press K to pause and now I can either play it using space that's real time, or I can go back and play it quickly, just like that. And I can do the same thing, you know, speed it up, da -da -da -da, going through adjusting, and then press play, and I can see it. Okay, so that, that one's my favorite. So I go backwards, I go to where it starts, I pause, and bear in mind, you're doing all of this with just three fingers and one hand. Okay, so I like this bit here. So this is where things get more interesting. Now that I know where I want to start, I can press the I key. And the I key is conveniently just above the K key, as you can see here. So I press it, I, and this is my in point. And right next to the I key is the O key, which stands for out point. So in point and out point. So if I cycle through the clip towards the end, where I'm done, I press K to pause. It's so like a little bit, I'm happy there. I just press O with my index finger, boom. If I press my arrow key up, I go to the in point. If I press it down, I go to the out point. So I can go to the in point, press space, and I can play my clip. Okay, so you have selected your in point and the out point of your clip. Now, pay attention because things get really fast from here. So you can, if you wanted to, click and drag it all the way, and you have your clip right there and you can play it and do the same thing over and over again. Or you go to your timeline and you make sure that you don't have an in point or an out point selection like this on your timeline. You right click, select clear in and out, right? Next thing you wanna do is you wanna move your cursor where you want to put your clip. So in this case, I wanna put it right here just after this clip. I wanna put it right here, for example. So you go back to your source and then you press one key. And this key is the life changing key. I call this the best key. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't think of anything. We're pressing the comma key. So conveniently, it's right under K and L. And all you do is you press comma, boom. It's now on the timeline. Let's do that again, because it's just it just feels amazing. Press comma, bang. Not only that, but the cursor has moved to the end of the clip. So if you were to go back onto the source and you were to say, for example, I really like this one here, uh, right there, I, the same thing, O, and you press comma, it places it right next to your other clip. And you can do that over and over and over and over and over and over again. It's so cool. It's very efficient and that's what makes me happy. So if we were to go to the next clip, start from the beginning, L, cycle through it. I'm here doing a dolly shot. Okay, that's cool. Keep going. I reframe and now I'm doing like a dolly shot to the left, like a pan. 
Let's see, do I like this? I like this because it has the wall spinning. So I press I on my keyboard for in, go to the end, O and comma. Now the two clips, I'm so happy. I'm actually so happy. Now the two clips are side by side. Now go to the next clip. Same thing, different shot. Yeah, I like that. Let's go back. All right, in, go to the end, out. Comma and done. Now I have three clips on my timeline and all I did was use six keys and one hand and just my fingers, three fingers. That's it. That's what you have to do. And you can do this over and over and over again and over and over and over again. Let's not do that. By the way, if you press the up key, you can go from cut to cut, down for right, up for left. I hope you enjoyed this tip. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. And if you know any other tips, comment them below so other people can see and learn too. And if you want, consider subscribing because we'll be doing a whole lot more content and maybe more content like this. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't think of anything else. Um, the best, uh, the ultimate key, uh, the, the key of the keys. Uh, I don't know. It's the comma, we're pressing the comma.